Chuck draw a new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. If we see note all dimensions are in inches. So this model going to create in inch. Now let's see first let's create a block for this. So we are going to start from front plane. Now see this plane we are going to consider as a front plane and we are going to start from here 3 by 4.5 inch and you will see the depth at bottom here 2 inch. So before going to start let's change unit right bottom you will see here you can change unit IPS okay now let's either select plane from here or directly click sketch and here it is asking you which plane you like to keep so activate front plane now see we entered in sketch mode now let's activate here I am going to select corner rectangle drag and drop now activate smart dimension now the bottom length 4.5 inch okay the vertical 3 inch that's fine now exit from the sketch and go to feature and activate extruded boss base feature now look here comes start we will keep as it is because we are going to use the same plane now end condition we will make mid plane so that it will moves in both side if you drag this arrow you will see here 2 inch let's keep as it is now look now here let's make this cut out you will see 4.5 millimeter and you will see this is lies at center of the body you will see this center line and here 1.8 millimeter this is important dimension now similarly the depth is going to 1.1 here you will see then there is one more slot 0.35 if I am going to zoom it see here and these radius 4.7 and we will I'll show you how then again 0.35 and these radius 3 with the help of same plane or same line now let's select this one sketch before going to let me create this center line this is for reference purpose now activate center point arc the f let's select first point here then second point on this line then move your cursor and third point here right click ok look now activate smart dimension now this is going to be 4.5 inch ok now in dimension select this point and this point 1.8 ok now look this is fully defined so select now activate extruded cut even though we don't need a close profile in some cases we need now here plane we will keep as it is start point end condition we will keep blind and depth is shown in drawing 1.1 inch say yes look now select this face sketch now here right click and show the previous sketch because this is the center point we are going to keep so activate center point arc start from here select this line and this line now our arc is created center point arc is created smart dimension 4.7 millimeter now let's try to do extrude cut now in this case it is not going to cut because there are many profile comes so here what we will do go to normal cancel and activate line tool and here make close profile because due to this line there is a multiple number of profile comes now activate ex either you can exit or you can directly choose extruded cut now this time the depth sketch start from same plane depth we will keep blind because we want to go in one direction 0.35 see 
say yes look a sketch act again activate center point arc i am going to use this one start click on this outer edge then end at outer edge right click select means exit smart dimension now define this radius 3 mm isometric view now in this case it is clear we don't need to define close geometry simply choose extruded cut now look it's going downward plane we will keep same end condition we will keep blind because we want to move in one direction now you will see the arrow there are two arrows this arrow means it will going to cut from this side if you choose flip side it will cut other side but we don't want so choose here looks now we don't need this one so simply hide it now at bottom you will see there is one slot slot through 0.8 but before going to this slot there is a one more slot here 0.15 0.8 tongue identical on both side it means these are the tongue in both side it means there is a throughout cut i'll show you how select this face sketch now activate corner rectangle let me draw like this or start from this point to something here exit now hold shift key and select this upper edge of both rectangle make relation collinear so that it is in same height smart dimension 1.6 enter now distance between these two 0.8 and let's say height 0.15 inch look activate extruded cut feature now plane start we will keep same but in end condition i am going to choose through all so that it will cut up to end of the body say yes look now comes here a sketch corner rectangle a smart dimension this is 0.8 0.15 length uh, height and the distance from one edge 0.6 now it is fully defined but there is a one more thing we need to cut here also so we have to do the same thing again here At, okay let's activate line tool okay okay i am going to use both profile extrude cut now in this condition you have to choose see at the bottom selected contour so i am going to choose one two because more than one profile A starting plane we will keep same direction one we, our end condition we will keep blind because we want to move in one direction now here okay better to apply through all if you apply through all it will cut up to end of the body now let's see okay see both tongues are identical through slot now what next there is a two hole now here you will see at top there is a two hole 0.5 through all the center hole and there is a counter bore hole you will see this symbol this is the symbol of counter bore hole diameter 0.8 depth 0.9 in both in both condition so hole wizard here i am going to select this one legacy hole activate simple in type counter bore come down diameter 0.5 now length i already selected through all because we want through all so you don't need to change the depth counter bore 0.8 and depth of counter bore 0.9 okay enter now 
here we selected end condition through all rest keep as it is go to position first you have to choose any one face see it is asking you select face or hole or slot so i'm going to select this face now place something here escape key to out smart dimension now distance if you see distance that is 2.5 plus 1 3 point plus 1 it's 3.5 inch and one more this relation hold shift key select origin point and center of circle and make one relation constraint make horizontal now look this is black it means fully defined isometric view say ok now look I will show you section view now here also we need to create again hole wizard legacy hole type counter bore now here these dimensions already defined because we previously did for this so position and this time I am going to choose this one escape key to out smart dimension now this center distance 1 inch one more relation balance because it is if it is blue means it is under defined you will see at right bottom select the point both the point make constraint horizontal isometric view ok now let us select front plane section view ok now look this is how our hole is created now here you will see 0.6 into 30 degree chamfer this is the last thing what we need to do now either you can click edge and you will activate chamfer or activate from here drop down fillet chamfer now first chamfer type angle distance I am going to select now just uh, see the side view so that things will be more clear ok now comes down age already selected in chamfer parameters keep full preview tangent propagation now 0 0.6 45 knot 30 degree but look this is going this direction we want in opposite direction so simply here choose flip direction look it is going downward this angle we want say ok here is our component that is ready even you can simply activate here edit appearance now here part selected or even though activate metal steel that's it i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching